And now, WBW Theater. Welcome to WBW Theater. Listen to a series of radio dramas, comedies, mysteries, thrillers, westerns, all dedicated to preserving the golden age of radio. Those thrilling days of yesteryear, way back when families gathered together around the living room radio to join the theater of the mind. Listen now as we take you way back when imagination ruled and creativity had no limits. Listen now to WBW Theater. It's time for another chapter in the life of Archie Andrews. We invite you to join Archie and his pals Jughead, Veronica, and Betty in another comic adventure from Riverdale. Today's episode will begin in just a few moments. Tender Tender beef, juicy pork, known from the West Coast to New York, Swiss premium francs, Swiss premium francs. For your guarantee of protection, Swiss premium francs now come to you cellophane wrapped in handy one pound packages. Made fresh daily in Swift's kitchens from coast to coast, Swift's premium franks are then wrapped in the new handy sanitary flavor saver pack and brought to you at the very peak of their tantalizing flavor with all of their natural goodness sealed in. So kids, tell your mom that you want Swift's premium franks. And mom, get some today. They're delicious. And you'll be glad to know that Swift's premium franks are economical. There's no waste to them. Every bite is all nourishment, all dinner quality meat. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in one pound cellophane package. And now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's Saturday afternoon as we look in on the Andrews home and at the moment we find Mr. Andrews alone in the living room sitting in his favorite armchair reading the newspaper. (laughs) Had to be more mannerly if (laughs) <laughs> if he asked someone to pass the cake for me, <laughs> he replied, Oh, Mommy, what does manners get you? <laughs> Every time Daddy gets polite on the train or bus, it costs him his seat. <laughs> Fred? Yes, dear? Telephone's ringing. I hear it. Well, answer it. Well, Mary, I'm reading my... Fred? Yes, dear. I'll answer it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what is... Hello? Hello, Mr. Andrews? Uh, yes? And this is Veronica. Is Archie home? Oh, hello, Veronica. Yes, Archie's home. Did you want to talk to him? No, I don't. All right, I'll call him. Uh, you, you don't? That's right. I'd rather you just give him a message for me. Oh, of course, Veronica. What is it? Well... Archie was supposed to come over this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Yes. But ask him to make it 4 o'clock instead. 4 o'clock instead? I'm going down to Stacy's department store to do some Christmas shopping this afternoon, and this is about the last chance I'll have. All right, Veronica. I'll tell him. Thank you, Mr. Andrews. Oh, but don't tell him I'm going shopping. You see, it's for his present. Just tell him the part about changing the date from three to four. All right, Veronica. I'll tell him. Thanks ever so much, Mr. Andrews. Bye. Bye. By George, it's a good thing Veronica called. I'd forgotten all about Christmas shopping, and I still don't have anything for Mary or Archie. I'd better get my hat and coat and get down to Stacy's right away. This is the last chance I'll have. Oh, fine. Fred? Yes, dear? Doorbell's ringing. I hear it, dear. I hear it. All right, dear. Mm, All right, dear. All right. I never have a chance to... Oh, good grief, Jughead. What'd you expect, Jersey Joe Wolcott? <laughs> no, Jughead, and I don't want to fight with you either. I'm in a hurry. I... Oh, gee, hiya, Jug. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Archie. I came over to see what you're doing. Well, I, I was I was just... Uh... Oh, Archie, Veronica just called. 
Gee whiz, she did? Yes, Archie, she did. And she said... Gee, I, I never heard the phone ring. Well, it rang, and Veronica said... Well, why don't you tell me? Archie? Yes, Dad. Do you care to hear what Veronica said or not? Well, sure, Dad, sure. Then be quiet, and I'll tell you. Okay, Dad, okay. She said to, uh, to, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. She said to change your appointment with her from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. From 3 to 4. Yes, an hour later. Gee whiz, I wonder why. Well, she had some things to attend to, and I'm going out. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, Dad, goodbye. Bye, Mr. Andrews. Gee whiz, that's great. Huh? Now that Veronica made our date an hour later, I I have time to get my Christmas shopping done. But uh, but I I thought this is practically the last chance I'll have. But, but I it's a good thing I thought of it. But but I I I haven't bought a thing for anyone yet, including me, including you, Archie. It's, it's time you did your Christmas shopping. That's right, Chuck. Come on, we'll go down to Stacy's. Well, what are you going to get me, huh? Uh, Jug, you'll just have to... Fred? Telephone's ringing. Fred? Fred? Fred, can't you answer when I call? I think that... Well, that's funny. He's gone. Oh, for pity's sake. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Andrews. This is Betty. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? Fine. Thanks, Mrs. Andrews. Uh, is Archie home? Yes, dear. I think he's upstairs. Oh, Archie. Archie? Huh, that's funny. He must have gone out, too. I wish people would tell me when they're going out. Hello, Betty. Yes, Mrs. Andrews? Archie doesn't seem to be home, dear. Oh, he isn't? No, dear. And, Betty, I hate to cut you short, but I have to run now. I'm just leaving to do my Christmas shopping. Oh, golly, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mrs. Andrews. I haven't done any shopping yet, either. Oh, you haven't? Well, would you like to go with me, dear? Oh, I'd love to, Mrs. Andrews. All right, I'll pick you up right away, and we'll go down to Stacy's. Where's Archie? I never saw such crowds. Yeah, Chuck had, but when we got in the elevator and everybody started pushing, did you have to push back? Listen, Archie, in that crowd, even a sardine would have pushed back. Uh, never mind. We're, we're here now, and the first thing I want to buy is a compact for Veronica. I wonder where the cosmetic department is. Cosmetic department? Yeah. Gee whiz, Archie. Let's just go to the toy department first. Jog, I told you we'd go to the toy department later. Now, come on. I'll ask the floor walker where the cosmetic department is. She whiz, okay. Oh, mister. Yes, yes. Could you tell me where the cosmetic department is, yes. please? Uh, counter seven. Thank you. Come on, Jug. Where is it? Counter seven. Where's that? Gee, I don't know. Oh, mister. Yes. Where is counter seven? On the north side of counter six. Oh, thank you. I was just... Uh, uh, a mister. Well, what now? Which way is north? Oh, my lands. Sonny, you see the boys' clothing department right there? Yes. Well, go right down to the aisle where the dummy law and turn right. Oh, okay, mister. Hey, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Uh, yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Where do you say it is, Archie? Right down the next aisle, Jug. Come on. Oh, okay. And boy, he's sure not a very friendly floor walker. Maybe his wife beats him. I wouldn't be surprised. I... Oh, what was that? Well, you bumped into that dummy. Oh, gee whiz. I knocked the hat off. For a minute, I thought that dummy was a real person. Wait a second, Jug, while I put the hat back on. Okay. 
if that floor walker ever saw me up here fooling around with his dummy, he'd probably throw us out of the store or something. Uh, Gee whiz! What's the matter? There's Veronica! Veronica? Oh, gee whiz! I don't want her to see me here. <gasps> She's coming right towards us. Oh boy, Jug, I'm gonna have to be a dummy. Huh? I'm gonna climb up on this platform with the rest of these dummies and, and I'll wear this hat. But Archie, you, you, you can't do that. Oh, Jug, don't argue. Don't argue. Here, how do I look? You're the most natural looking dummy I ever saw. Don't be funny, Jug. And put the price tag on me, quick. Okay, here. Atta boy. Now remember, don't give me away no matter what happens. Okay. Why, Jughead? Oh, uh, hi, Veronica. What y'all doing here? Oh, just a little shopping. Oh, I am too. Thank goodness I have most of it done. Oh, that's good. The only thing I still have to get is a gift for Archie. Uh, Archie? Uh-huh. I don't know what to get him. He's such a problem. <laughs> he sure is. I can't get him a book or anything. Because he's not the intelligent type. <laughs> I can't get him a baseball glove or anything because he's not much of an athlete. <laughs> I can't get him a tie or anything because he just doesn't know anything about style. <laughs> In fact, sometimes I think Archie is an awful dummy. <coughs> but then again, with prices being what they are, there isn't much you can do for a dollar. <laughs> Did you say something, Jughead? Me? Not a word, Veronica, not a word. Oh, well, I better go get some more shopping then. Would you like to come along? Oh, I, uh, no, Veronica, I, I can't. I, I'm meeting someone here in a minute. Oh, well, I'll run along then. Bye now, Jughead. Bye, Veronica, bye. Okay, dummy, you can relax now. Fine thing, fine thing. Jughead, help me down off this platform. Gee whiz, not now. Huh? Here comes the floor walker. Oh, boy. I better be a dummy some more. Yes, madam. I certainly, yes. Yes, madam. You can return it at any time. Uh, yes, madam. Oh, me. Never have I seen such a rush. Never in all my land's sake. Who put that dummy here? Oh, boy. If that isn't the silliest looking dummy I've ever seen. I don't know why the stockroom can't send one out that, that looks at least half alive. I, I never have seen one with such an insipid expression and such a ridiculous posture. I, Mister? Yes? I'm, I'm not really a dummy. That makes absolutely no difference. They still shouldn't... Oh, good heavens. You're alive! Uh-huh. Oh, for pity's sake. Young man, come come down off of there. Yes, sir. Well, just what were you doing on that platform looking like a dummy? Well, that's a long story, sir. You, you oh, see, I... Good uh... heavens, young man. Will you do me a favor? Yes, sir. As soon as you've paid for that jacket, leave the store. Huh? I said as soon as you've paid for that jacket... This jacket? Yes, that jacket with the price tag on it. You're buying it, aren't you? But this is my jacket. Your jacket? Do you have a sales slip? Well, no. I bought it here last year. <laughs> and you haven't removed the price tag yet? Removed the price? Oh, mister, you, you don't understand. Young man, I understand perfectly. The price is fourteen ninety five, and I want it right now. Oh, but mister... No, I said! But you don't understand. This is my own jacket. No fooling. Jughead! Tell this man it's my jacket. It... Jughead? Young man, are you calling me names? No, 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 sir. I was talking to my friend. What friend? Well, that's just it. I mean, he, he, he was here a minute ago. Gee whiz. I bet he went up to the toy department. Mister, if you just come up to the toy department, we can find my friend and he'll tell you that. Young man, I'm not going up to the toy department or anywhere else until I have the $14.95 for that jacket. But that's all the money I have, and I, I just... Uh, wait a minute. Beg pardon? Oh, I know. Mister, if I paid you for this jacket, you'd give me a sales slip, and then I could take it to the exchange department and get my money back, couldn't I? Yes. 
if you liked. Oh, well, in that case, it's all right. I haven't anything to worry about. Here's the money. Ah, thank you. And here's your sales slip. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Good day, sir. Good day. Guess I fooled him. Yes, sir, it's a good thing I think fast. For a minute there, it looked like I wouldn't have any Christmas money. But now all I have to do is take this coat and go to the exchange counter and give him this jacket, and then I'll... <laughs> Gee whiz, if I do, I won't have any jacket left. Oh, boy. How do I get into these things? First thing I better do is get that bottle of perfume for Mary. Ah, here's the perfume counter right here. Let's see now. What kind should I get her? Well, they certainly have quite an assortment. Chase me, $25. Hide and seek, $32. Wallflower, no more. $40? Hmm. I never smelled anything worth that kind of money. Oh, here's another one. Evening in Riverdale, ten dollars. Well, that's a little better. <laughs> I just think Mary likes this perfume. That's just what I'll get her. Oh, miss, uh, I'll take this bottle oh, and... Oh, gee whiz, Mr. Andrews. Well, Jughead, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Mr. Andrews. I'm looking for Archie. I thought you were with Archie. Well, I, I was, but it just... Uh... Well, I'm trying to get one of these sales girls to wait on me here, but they're all so busy. Gee whiz. What, what's the matter? There's Mrs. Andrews. Ma Mary, where? Right over there. <gasps> Good grief. If she sees me with this bottle of perfume, she'll know what I'm getting her for Christmas. She's coming this way. Yes, I know, I see. I'll just duck the bottle in my pocket. They're right in this pocket. Now if she sees me... Uh, just a moment, please. Huh? I saw that. Saw what? Oh. Oh? Oh! oh. <laughs> now, now, mister, you don't understand. Don't understand at all. I... Oh, I don't, don't I? No, you... Did you or did you not just hide a bottle of perfume in your pocket? Well, yes, but... Have you paid for it? Well, no, well, but... Well, I don't know what you call it, but we call it shoplifting. Yes, of course. Uh, shoplifting? Oh, now, wait a minute, mister. I can explain. I can explain the entire thing. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Well, you see, I've been trying to get one of the sales girls to wait on me, and I just saw my wife over there, and I hid the bottle because I didn't want her to know what I was getting her for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Just where is your wife? Well, she was right over... over... Oh, good heavens. She's gone. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, but she was right here. Jughead, tell the man how we saw my wife. Uh, oh, well, now where did he go to? Who? Jughead. He was standing right here just a second ago. I don't know where he is. Mister? Huh? Do you imagine these things very often? Imagine what? Do you have delusions? But I... Dizzy spills? Oh, but I... You see spots before your eyes? Oh, oh, no. Now wait, just... Keep calm. Keep calm. No need to get excited. Just give me back the perfume and we'll forget the entire thing and you can go right home and lie down. Lie down? But who wants to lie... The perfume, please. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I have it right here in my... Uh, oh. Something wrong? Uh-huh. It leaked. What leaked? Perfume bottle. It leaked all over my pocket. See, it's half empty. Oh. For land's sake. Now you'll just have to pay for it. What? That's right. I was going to forget the whole incident, but I can't return the damaged bottle to the counter. Well, I'm certainly not going to pay for a leaky bottle of perfume. Mister, if you're not satisfied with the item, you can take it to the exchange department. But it must be paid for. But 
But I said it must. Oh, me. You win. I'll go to the exchange department. But how I get into these things, I'll never know. bathroom do you like, Betty? Um, the dark blue one, I think. I do, too. Blue is Aunt Hattie's favorite color. Oh, but is it her size, Mrs. Andrews? No, yeah, there's only one way to tell. Betty, I'll have to try it on. Try it on? Uh-huh. I wear the same size as Aunt Hattie does, and if it fits me, it'll fit her. Oh, here. Hold my coat, dear, while I step into this dressing room and put this bathrobe on. Oh, all right, Mrs. Andrews. I'll just take a second, dear. I'd hate to go to all the trouble of buying this and sending it to Hattie and then not having it fit. Uh-huh. Then I don't have to return it for her since she lives out of town. Oh, dear. What is it? There's no hanger in here for my dress. Oh, well, hand it to me, Mrs. Andrews. I'll hold it. All right, dear. Here you are. I have it. Oh, thank you, dear. I'll have this robe on in just a minute. There. Ah. How's it look, Betty? Uh, well, it looks a little big to me. It does? Well, I better take a look in the mirror. I, oh, Betty, you don't have to hold my coat and dress. Just put them on that empty rack. Oh, all right, Mrs. Andrews. Now, let's see. Hmm, yes. It is a little big. Yes, it is. I'll have to ask the sales girl if she has a smaller size. You wait here, Betty. Oh, uh, Miss, Miss? You have a... Gee whiz, Betty. Jughead, what are you doing here? Oh, looking for Archie. Archie? Is he here? Well, I think so. Uh, we came together, but we got separated. Oh, well, where'd you see him last? On the dummy platform. What? Well, you see, he was being a dummy. What? A dummy, you know, the kind that looks like this. Jug, what are you talking about? Excuse me, miss. I gotta move this rack. What? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Mo, get the other end there. Got it. Easy now. Right there. I got it. Pull it around there. Jughead, what are you trying to tell me about Archie? Betty, it's an awfully long story. All I want to know is, have you seen him? No, I haven't. Well, then I better keep looking. He may be in trouble. What kind of trouble? Oh, I can't tell you now, Betty. See you later. Bye. But Jug, wait. Jug? Oh, golly, that Jughead. He's the strangest person. Betty, how do you like this bathrobe? Oh, that's fine, Mrs. Andrews, but I just... This size does fit much better, doesn't it, dear? Yes, Mrs. Andrews, but I I just... Betty, what happened to it? What happened to what? The rack. What rack? The rack you put my dress on. Oh, golly, I don't know. But my dress. My dress and coat were on it. Oh, golly, it was here a minute ago. My dress. But, Betty, what'll I do? Is something wrong, madam? Yes, I lost my dress. I beg your... I beg your pardon? My dress. I put it down here for a minute while I was trying on this bathrobe, and now it's gone. The bathrobe? No. The dress. But it couldn't be. Well, it is. But it... Isn't it, Betty? Oh, yes, indeed, Mrs. Andrews. Oh? Oh, my land. I have never seen such a day. Living dummies, men hiding from their wives, and now this woman loses her dress. But I tell you, it was right under my nose. I should hope so. Well, uh, do something. Do something. Madam, what can I do about your dress? Find it. Now, madam, be calm. Be calm. It was probably taken by mistake, and it will be turned into the lost and found department. Well, where's that? At the other end of the floor next to the exchange department. Come on, Betty. Madam, uh, where are you going? To the lost and found department. But, madam, certainly not in our bathrobe. Well, certainly not without it. Come on, Betty. We'll go see if they have my dress. How these things happen to me, I'll never know. Archie! Yes, Jug? Oh, now can I tell you who I met? Yes, Jug. Well, well, first I ran into... Archie, what in tarnation are you doing here? Gee whiz, Dad. Where'd you come from? Never mind where I came from. What? Archie, 
What are you doing standing here in your shirt sleeves? Well, Dad, I can explain. You see, I came over and... Fred Andrews, what are you doing here? Mary, what are you doing in your bathrobe? Oh, it's not my bathrobe. It's... it's... Fred Andrews, you smell. What? You positively reek of perfume. Oh. Now who? (laughs) Yes, I do, don't I? Well, you see, dear, I... Archie Andrews, what are you doing here? Veronica? Jughead, why didn't you tell me Archie was here? Well, uh, Veronica, I I was... um... What seems to be the trouble here? Oh, the floor walker. Mister... I'm trying to find out why my son is standing here in his shirt sleeves well, and... please, there's no need to get over in... And I want to know why you smell of perfume. Lady, I... And what are you doing in that bathroom? Mister, please don't accelerate this... And, and I'm trying to exchange my own coat. Uh, Sonny, just, just... So when did you get here, Archie? Why are you all excited? I, we were just all here oh. together. Archie! Archie! Mary! Quiet! 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 That's better. Now listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. Yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Andrews. Andrews. It certainly has. Yes, dear. Oh, yes, dear. afternoon. You people have made my life quite miserable. Quite miserable. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, if there's what? any reason for it, I feel entitled to an explanation. Well, mister, you know the coat, the one you thought I was buying? Yes. Well, my mother and father and Jughead and Veronica can all identify it as my old coat. Why, of course that's Archie's coat. My goodness, yes. I know that's his coat. Oh, dear. You mean it really is? Yes, and maybe you'll recall you didn't believe my wife was in the store when I hid the perfume bottle in my pocket. (laughs) Well, yes. Well, this is my wife. (laughs) No. How do you do? I'm so very sorry. (laughs) And I just found out that two of your men moved an empty rack while I was talking to Jughead here. Didn't they, Jughead? Sure they did. And that was the rack that had my dress and coat on it. Well, Mr. Floorwalker, what do you say to that? Yeah, Yeah, what what do do you you say say to that? that? People, people, please, please, please. No tempers, please. Uh, no tempers, no tempers. <laughs> the customer's always right at J. Alfred Stacy's. We'll make amends. Huh. Uh, make amends. Huh. Mistakes will happen, you know. <laughs> A young man, since that does seem to be your own coat, you may keep it and I'll give you a cash credit slip for what you paid me. Thank you. And you, sir? Yes? I'll be glad to give you another bottle of perfume. Uh, compliments of the store. Well, that's better. And, madam? Yes? I'm sure we can find your dress and coat in the lost and found department, and you may keep the bathrobe at no charge. Well, thank you. Well, I'm here, too. Jug, shut up. Well, people, uh, does that satisfy you? Well, yes, I think that straightens everything out all right. I'm sorry there's been so much misunderstanding. (laughs) That's quite all right. Quite all right. And now, folks, if everything's settled, let's stop hiding from each other and get this Christmas shopping over and done with once and for all. Yes, Yes, Mr. Mr. Andrews. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. All right. Now I... What what was that? Five o'clock. Thank heavens. Stores closing. You folks all have to come back next Monday. Come back? You mean we've got to go through all this again? Tender beef, juicy pork, known from the West Coast to New York. Swift's Premium Friends. Swift's Premium Friends. Friends, 
You really know what you're getting when you ask for Swift's Premium Franks, made fresh daily in Swift's kitchens from coast to coast, so you know they're fresh. Made by Swift, so you know they're top quality. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the new, handy one-pound cellophane package. And while you're at your dealers, be sure to ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage, the sausage with the just-right seasoning. And don't forget your dealer has a tempting variety of Swift's Premium Table-Ready Meats. Tasty, cooked specialty is being featured this week. A delicious lunch meat, Swift's Premium Cooked Specialty is all meat. No bones, no waste, an economical, flavorful meat that the whole family will enjoy. Swift's Premium Cooked Specialty is just the thing for the family holiday lunches and snacks. For a meal in flash that saves plenty of cash, get Swift's Premium Table-Ready Meats. You've been listening to another chapter in The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Champell, and based on the copyrighted characters appearing in Archie Comics Magazine. Archie was played by Ryan Kiernan, Jughead by David Botcher, Veronica and Betty are portrayed by Cheryl K. Brunel and Cheryl Carter Holdaway. The Floor Walker was portrayed by James Christian Morris. This program is produced and directed by Dennis Moore. Listen next week when Swift & Company, makers of Swift Premium Franks, and Way Back When, brings you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is J. Arthur Scott wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. So long. Join us again as we bring you exciting thrills and adventure, rip-roaring comedy, and shoot 'em up westerns and gangbusters. Next time, when your imaginations will be invited into the theater of the mind that is WBW Theater.